Uh, so thank you, Chairman. Uh, my name is Sun Yangbo. I'm from the Yellow River Conservancy Commission of the Ministry of Water Resources, China. It's my good pleasure to introduce China's national policy and experience in the river health assessment and the environmental flow management in China, especially a case study from the Yellow River of China. So th this is a sketch map of, of China. You can see the landscape from west to east, uh, down from the highlands of Tibetan Plateau to the eastern China Sea. So which means the landscape in China is higher in western part and lower in eastern part. So most of the rivers just flow from west to, to east. Actually, most of the major rivers in Asia, Asia region was originated from this highland, Tibetan Plateau, like the Yangtze River start from here, and the Yellow River start from here. Mekong also originated from this place. Also does the Brahmaputra and the Ganges, they all originated from the Tibetan Plateau. But for most of Chinese rivers, they are start from this plateau and flow to east and empty themselves into the specific regions. So from west to east, we totally have seven large rivers flow across China. From north, that means the Liao River, Haihe River, Yellow River, Huai River, and Yangtze River. The south end is the Peril River. And in order to manage these water regions in China, our ministry has uh, uh, set up seven river basin authorities who is responsible for the water resources planning and management in their own river basins. They so take this Yellow River Basin as an example. It flows through across nine provinces, start from the Qinghai province, and uh, empties themselves in from the Shandong province. Each province has the same scale like a state in, in Europe. Say so from the headquarters of Henan province, it almost has 100 million people living in this area. And the total Yellow River length uh, is more than 5,500 kilometers long. So which means we have big rivers in China. It also brings big challenges to, to us. Uh, comparing to the natural conditions in the landscape of China, we also have uh, this uh, rapid growth of uh, economic value and also social development. This is the population density of China. We can say the most populated area was located in the northeastern part of China. And this area is exactly belongs to the Yellow River Basin. And, and it also belongs to the arid and semi-arid area of China. So the water scarcity and the plus the high population density makes this area subject to severe, severe water scarcity. Also a lot of challenges for this water man and river basin management. This is uh, the most prominent challenges to us for Chinese rivers. First, the, the floods. Because uh, say for the Yellow River, there are about 100 million people living in the flood prone area. So in the history, the flood disaster happens frequently. Then the government of China has put a lot of efforts in dealing with these floods. And uh, the second challenge will be water scarcity. That's because of the water demand increased significantly as, as long the economic growth. So that the water pollution issues become also a significant challenge to us. Uh, the last but not least is the soil erosion issues because for the Yellow River, especially most important challenges to us, this soil erosion will increase this flood risk and also heighten this river bed. So in order to deal with all these challenges, the Chinese government has put a lot of efforts to set up a comprehensive master plan for river basin management. And in the recent years, because we have suffered already the water quality deterioration and also changes in the morphology and hydrology, and also as well as the habitat degradations. And for some special rivers, say the Yellow River, it has been dried, dried drying up in the last decade of, 90, of 20th century, which means since 1990, the, the lower part has already been dried, which gave the public a serious hint that we should pay attention to the 
hills of this river. In order to restore this river house in China, a comprehensive uh, action plan has been uh, scheduled, which basically comprises of three parts. We have an uh, ambitious target that to restore the river health of China by the year 2020. So that comprises many, many three steps. First, we need to evaluate the current situation in health considers of rivers, and then to analyze the risks we are facing. And the next one will be the how to pro provide a response and actions to release these uh, challenges. Uh, that is uh, what I mentioned is the national plan, national program for river health assessment. It's actually a five-year program. And the target objective is to carry out regular river basin health assessment by year 2015. And based on this assessment uh, uh, program, we are, uh, go further to deliver the action plan to restore the river health and to reach the river health objectives by the year 2020. The major outputs from this program uh, will be two outputs. First, we'll build a national river health assessment method and uh, principles. The second output will be we will produce and publish the river health assessment report every two years. As for the definition of the health river in China, it's very similar to the other place in the world. We also learn many experience from Europe, from Australia, and from USA, and also from our own experience from the Yellow River practice. So in our opinion, the health river should uh, refer to two components. First, the environmental part, and then the social part. Because China is still undergoing a rapid economic growth, so we have to balance the demand from human needs and also environmental needs to reach the maximum value from the river protection and development. For this uh, uh, river health prog assessment program, it comprises the two phases of the river health assessment. It starts from the 2010, and by the end of next year, we'll finish phase one, it's many investigations and studies. And for the phase two, we'll select the pilot area and produce the first river health assessment report. This is the work plan for, for the phase, phase one. It starts from a prob prob problem identification and the researches goes to the monitoring, data collection, and investigation research. And then by the year 2013, we will produce the first national river health assessment report. For our task of this year, we are working on the pilot selections. According to the plan, we are going to select one river, one major river, and one major lake from each individual large river basin authority of China, which means we totally will have seven pilot rivers to cover the uh, China from the north to south as a typical sample for the pilot research. Besides that, we also carry out a series of researches including how to build these assessment metrics, standards, and principles, and also build these indicators and methodologies. All this work has been done, and part of this work has been done jointly with uh, Australian partners. <laughs>